Hi there, and welcome to The Tromboner, your online guide to all things trombonistic, now in HD. Last week on The Tromboner, you'll remember we looked at how to play the trombone really, really well. This week on The Tromboner, we'll be looking at scales, 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 and scales. But first, one of my favorite segments on the trombona, boning up on your bone. Every week in boning up on your bone, we look at the common misconceptions that people have about the trombone and try to despunk them. There's a lot of crazy people with crazier ideas about the bone, and we here at the trombona are here to put it right. So, this week's Misconceptions about the trombone. Number one, the internal tubing of the trombone is cylindrical. Wrong. The internal tubing of a trombone is in fact a series of complex tapirs with the narrowest one at the mouth hole and the widest one near the bell end. Two, the trombone has always been called the trombone. Wrong. The trombone used to be called the sack butt, but in Renaissance times this was considered too risque and they changed the name to the trombone. 3. The trombone is a modern invention. <laughs> wrong! And you could not be wronger, because simple trombone-like structures have been found at the primitive dwellings of people such as Homo Georgicus, who lived 1.8 million years ago. 4. The trombone is made of brass. <laughs> Wrong! Although the trombone has a lovely brassy colour, it is in fact made of an alloy of copper and aluminum, known as trombonium. 5. The trombone is not a proper instrument with strings or keys, but just has a dumb slider, which, at best, produces only a loose approximation of a true musical note. <laughs> wrong! And oh boy, you couldn't be wronger, because the trombone slider is the most accurate musical input device known to man, much more accurate than a bagpipe's finger holes or a piano's keyboard. 6. The trombone looks stupid and sounds shit. 